Our next designer is Elsa Schiaparelli. Her house does live on to this day, spoiler alert. Um, she was born in 1890. Uh, her fashion house is Schiaparelli. I feel like we're kindred spirits in it a little bit because she does love, she did love the color pink and I love the color pink and all those variations. But um, her, her shade was shocking pink. So again, if you look into a lot of her design, if you just decide to sort of like look her up for yourself, you see that she um, sort of like imprinted that shade in some way or another, whether it was in a button, a full design, that was something that she was known for, that shocking pink, specifically that shade. She was also known for her surrealist design. So what I enjoy about her designs is how she um, uses uh, literal interpretations of things. So you'll see like a jacket with a face sewn into it or like fingernails or just shapes and uh, interesting uses of buttons. So she was very interesting in the fact that she took something that was very obscure, like, you know, putting a face on a jacket and she made it beautiful and elegant and interesting. So it doesn't always have to be when you're thinking of designing your garments, you can sort of play around with a lot of concepts and a lot of different things when you're creating a design. Her key features were embroidery, again, the way she used fabrics and threads and beading and buttons to sort of uh, create these very surrealist designs. Decorate, decorative and unconventional fabrics. So she basically didn't just focus on satins and silks and taffeta and those kinds of things. She expanded her reach to different types of fabrics and mediums. And I think that's interesting because it can be both a good thing and a bad thing. All fabric can't do all things. Um, she had a whole house of people to work with her. She has people that specially make certain textiles and fabrics. So she had a little bit more flexibility. Um, fabric, although you can do a lot with it, there are certain things that it just, you can't always translate into different designs. And we'll cover that when we head into our textile portion. She does die in uh, 1973, but her house lives on today. Shia Pirelli is still a huge house, and they still play with a lot of those surreal, interesting designs. I also did a recent piece in my blog on Hook Couture where I covered one of her designs, and it's this very beautiful, off-the-shoulder, cobalt blue dress, and has eyes all over it like these tiny little button eyes and it is breathtaking and beautiful so they very much still pay a great homage to that original um, idea she had of sort of using surrealist designs to achieve her look thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe videos are uploaded weekly covering dressmaking fashion lectures and more Enroll in Lady Cloth U on Teachable for dressmaking and fashion design courses. See you again soon.